Take two. Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land. What's going on? I got my cousin, uh, Jay. We're here with me to talk about The Rock and his recent return to the WWE. Him and Brock Lesnar, as a matter of fact. Um, I also have, uh, Ms. Ike and this fuckhead, Highland Curse. Anybody got something to say? Say hi, hi, and we'll fuck you guys too. It's a very unblockable day, Ice. The sun is shining, <laughs> but it is cold as hell. I don't know what's going on. Really? That's awesome. So, you seen The Rock. Uh, when he came back, was you excited? No, I was not. You was not. And why wasn't you excited? Because I know, because, okay, let's see. The Rock is kind of like... That dad who has... No, wait, hold on. I'm wording this wrong. The Rock gives me abandonment issues. Let's just say that. Aban... Okay. <laughs> Ab that's... Well, damn. Well, damn. I mean, he said I was never going away. I mean, the and way he... guess what? He went away? He went away. He his fans all too. Well, okay. That could be justified. I mean, he could... He, I mean... Because he said he wasn't in for the money or to promote a movie. But honestly, that's all I've seen. I've seen, like, when there was a commercial, there was a rock commercial. It was even a commercial on, a, on WrestleMania. And that's, I don't remember the last time there's ever been commercials on pay-per-views. I mean, because that's what we do. We pay to view it. That we're not paying to be advertised to. Well, then, again, look at Xbox Live. Look at this shit. <laughs> Hulu Plus. UFC. My God. There's even a fucking You're advertisement. You're digressing. You're digressing. You're digressing. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, but I'm I'm just <laughs> I'm looking. I'm staring at my screen, and I say we don't pay for advertisements, and then yeah, I'm looking at this shit, and it's right in my face. But anyways, like I was saying, the Rock was here, then the Rock left, and we were like, what the fuck just happened? They filled the void with The Rock with Brock Lesnar. I think I think what he might do is do his movie and then make another return. I don't know if he's going to stay or not. You know, because... But seriously, when he said the words, and I am never going anywhere, I had the meme face and I said, bullshit. And I called that... Well, right that, could be, that, could be, that could be justified. I mean, in his case, I'm not going to... I'm not going to defend him, but... It could be justified by saying, you know, I have a schedule, and every time I have some free time, I will come back to the WWE. In essence, if you want to take it like that. Highland, you seen the match, right? Which which one's this? Is this The Rock or... Uh, Cena versus The Rock. Rock. I've watched some of it and then turned it off. Why? It, it, it just sucked, man. The Rock's too old for it. He doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not true. I, s I think I got a room full of Rock yeah. haters. I think this is the wrong group. I don't hate The Rock. I just don't like his actions. As of late. As of late. Well, it's, look, it's looking like I'm going to have to get someone to defend for The Rock. Because... I it seemed like all yeah, good all, fucking luck. Good our fucking four luck. of us, all four of us, are against it. I mean, because you know Carlton was on uh, the page saying that he's he paid his dues. He's 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 done all his touring and whatnot. He's 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 champion. You know he's done things that Austin didn't do, like fight Goldberg. You know. But with a quote on Goldberg himself, he would like to face Austin in the match. That's completely off subject. Oh, well, he already got stuttered, so what more do we need? <laughs> I know, right? I, I, I was happy to see him get stunned. Anyways, um... Yeah, that was like justification for that shitty-ass match. I don't know. I, I, I just can't justify for The Rock. I can't. I can't do it. I, I believe in what you guys believe in. I think The Rock came back for promoting and, you know, to get out more movies, I guess, and to be... in. 
entertaining a little bit more to his wrestling audience. I guess he felt that his wrestling audience was not watching his movies, so he make a short appearance and make us wait for a whole year just to see a main event with our biggest guy in the industry. Which I think Orton should have came and RKO'd them both, and then the match would have been over or something like that. And it, would, it probably would have been epic that way. Yeah, like, fuck scene, I'm the top guy. <laughs> he expects himself just to walk right back into the, the Toledo run when he comes back. He, he did do that. Right from the bottom up. He did. Okay, you know what? This ain't even uh, relevant anymore because everybody's against The Rock. I think I'm just giving my conclusion on it. Uh, I think Rock, you know, like I said before, came back uh, just to entertain for a little while. You know, his promos were all trending worldwide, which got a little relevant really quickly. Um, his promos are great. I like that. I think they were dry, dude, compared to his old promos. He told. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. I think the last promo that Cena cut in front of him, he ripped him a new one. I think that too. When he said "continue trending" and walked away. Different though. I'm not used to stuff like that. I mean, I, I wanted to see something outrageous like he used to do, like you know, go on the uh, the commentary table and tell the, the the Mexican the Mexican announcers um uh ring announcers that he was gonna uh, slap pinto beans out of him or something, you know, something classic. Mm. Like their moms. Like it's, like the uh, most outrageous thing he could yeah you could have uh, said he did was when he had that kid uh, dress up as Cena and talk to him that way. That was the most outrageous thing they did, and it was, that was boring to me. Like, ser yeah, seriously, I was going to say, this is the best you got. And in the, in the history lesson, that was also boring. I mean, compared to telling La oh, Resistance, like the, the little Fifi, the stuff he came up with was just like, it just wasn't there. It wasn't The Rock. And the only thing, okay, the only thing that was funny, the only thing I laughed my ass off at was uh, when Mick Foley was doing Here's Your Life to John Cena, and Rock came out and Rock bottom Mick Foley. That was, like, the only thing. Yes. I didn't like that. Well, that's because you're a Foley fan. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's switch subjects <laughs> to Brock Lesnar. What about Brock Lesnar? Okay, I'm time? out. I'm, I don't, I don't want to fucking talk about Brock. Why? You hate Brock? Fuck Brock. Fuck Brock. Okay. He's too much time in the UFC and thinks he can come to back to wrestling and then break people's face. <laughs> hey, this is wrestling fans. We don't like you leaving our company and then coming back to make more money to headline anything. Thinking you're hot shit. What? Like Lord Tensai. Daddy. Oh, fuck yeah. Tensai. No, no, no. Fuck no. Fuck Albert. Fucking Prince Albert. I love how somebody goes to Japan shit. and comes back and steals Dajiri's moves. I like how he co he goes, comes back, and thinks he's a badass. Of course, you dominate in Japan. They're all like two times your twice your size. Well, you're twice their size. Fucking a. I dominated in Japan. They did not even reach my knees. Japan rape. That's. It's unblockable. Lord Tensai, I mean, when I seen him return, I just laughed. I was like, where's his hairy back? No homo. What the fuck is this silver back Corolla doing back in the WWE? And then he comes out and dominates. What the fuck is this peon doing back in the WWE? <laughs> then he comes out and dominates Cena like we're supposed to just buy that. I wasn't buying that bullshit. Everybody knew this. It was even worse when he got the win on Punk. Okay, let let let's. Wow, let's uh let's switch to Daniel Bryan and Punk then. What about the right? That is good. I have, I would that have to, that is wrestling. I will have to agree. What do you think, Curse? Highland. Daniel Bryan. He's a hell of a wrestler. Oh. Sorry, what's this? Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. Ah, uh, I'm I'm a fan of both of them. I like them. That, that that's good shit they're going through though. And then especially when you got AJ in the background.
when you got AJ doing crazy shit back there, that's making it worse. That's just funny, is it? That's just good shit. No. This kid, man. Kids, they're unblockable. Well, I mean, it looks like uh, actually kids are blockable, but you know you have to take the right precautions. I don't have no retort to that, but uh, <laughs> unblockable. Yeah. CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. It, all I have, Bryan. All I have is to say about that is yes, yes, yes. As far as anything else in the WWE, I don't really know right now. You know what? Update me on what's going on with the WWE right now. What's the top he uh, uh feuds? Top feuds? Yeah, top feuds. Arno Rodriguez and Santino Morello. <laughs> 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 that wasn't a few. That was an altercation. That was funny as hell. See Friday night when he came out to wrestle in his fucking suit, and <laughs> that was epic. Anything else? Um, Layla and Beth Phoenix. Or? You know what? I'm gonna leave it up to people to leave comments. You know, if they got, if, if they want to defend the Rock. They can, because I can't. I can't defend the Rock. I can't. As far as Brock Lesnar is concerned, I think that that right there. I think that's WWE storyline. I think they're trying to get. That's one of those. That's one of those. Let sleeping dogs fucking rot. Yeah, I think the WWE uh, is trying to get Brock Lesnar hated again. He's not really backstage, or he didn't really quit the WWE. I think he's just like taking a fall for a while to remind fans that we didn't like him because he left. I mean, that's just my point of view from it because somebody, somebody else made it. Don't uh, get me wrong. Brock Lesnar did his thing in UFC. He did. He nah, that dude got his head, ass but, beat. But to bring yourself back to the WWE, literally don't remember how to wrestle where you're sitting there and elbow somebody in the face and break their nose. Oh, to get some training before you try to bring it back into. <laughs> Yo, he didn't wrestle, did he? No, he ass whooped like he was still in UFC. Well, I don't block one. Anyways, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, defend the Rock if you want to. I think the guy. I don't see him in the title picture, and if he does win the title, how, how's he gonna defend it? You can't defend the title in 30 days. You have to give it up. Gotta leave the movie biz alone, or wrestling, or just stick to movies and leave wrestling alone. That's what I. That's well, how it I depends feel. Well, it depends because his movies, his movies go back and forth. Because you got the Rundown, then you got Tooth Fairy, <laughs> you got Fast Five, then you got fucking the one where he's a football player and nobody liked him. Gridiron Gang. That was actually a good one. No, 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 no. No, 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 not Gridiron Gang. The one with his daughter and shit. The Disney movie? The Disney movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Highly unblockable. Gridiron Gang, that was pretty good, see? It just goes back and forth. You can't decide. Well, that's the subject we can talk about on another video. You can talk about the Avengers. Since you're such a movie critic guy. Hey, hey, I love movies. Fuck off. <laughs> Unblockable. All right. And in this video, uh, any shout outs? By the way, by the way, I am announcing this. Root fucking rated our fucking content on this shit. Oh, you want to do a promo on uh, scrunchings? No. N no? No comment. No comment? You don't want to whoop his ass I'll later? block a comment. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, YouTube, rate, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's ready to you. My boy Highland Curse, who ain't said a damn thing. He probably going to tell me to eat your <laughs> ass at the end of the video when I turn it off. Um, I just think he's too damn drunk to say anything right now. Mike, Ms. Ike, <laughs> 0314. Uh, and my cousin, Lee J, we out. Unblockable. I will eat your ass. He said it too, and I ain't even stopped recording. See? See? Yeah, we got it. We got it.